I was angry. I felt unsupported. You pull back the curtain on child stardom. It is not a pretty picture. Not as I see it, no. So what's your advice to people who may seem calm on the outside, may seem funny on the outside, but are struggling inside? When you think of iCarly, you think of the friendship between Carly and Sam Puckett, which was an amazing friendship in the show, but in real life, they had plenty of obstacles, and one of those being Jeanette McCurdy's mother, Debbie, because Debbie had major problems with Miranda. I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Sarah for putting together this thread. You guys can go ahead and check out her socials linked below, but for whatever reason, Jeanette's mother discouraged her friendship with Miranda. Jeanette said, as her mother warned her not to get too close to Miranda Cosgrove because she doesn't believe in God. You guys know it's gonna get messy when religion is involved, and I hate when people weaponize religion. But in Jeanette's new memoir titled I'm Glad My Mom Died, Jeanette opened up about being raised in a Mormon household and how her mom, Deborah, was pushing her into acting at six years old. When she landed the role of iCarly, it changed her outlook on life forever. When Jeanette first met Miranda, they didn't talk much, but they were friendly with one another. Jeanette was intimidated by Miranda because she was on the show Drake and Josh. At some point, Miranda did send Jeanette a peace offering, and it was a gift bag with movie theater candy and a $100 gift card. Jeanette says, I'm really surprised that another child actor would be so nice to me. Usually there's such competition in this industry, but getting this gift from Miranda meant a lot. So it seemed like their friendship was getting off on the right foot, but Deborah wasn't going to have that. At this point in time, Miranda Cosgrove seemed to be pretty independent, but Jeanette was far from that because her mother was micromanaging her and overbearing. She taught her to develop eating issues at the age of 11 and was super critical of her acting. Jeanette writes, On set, Miranda said cuss words like shit and ass, and she took the Lord's name in vain at least 50 times times a day. Mom warned me not to get too close to Miranda because she doesn't believe in God. Which when I read this, I just think of that one TikTok where Miranda like says the F word and it's just like such a thing. That was such a moment, a good moment for Miranda. But even though her mother said not to get close to Miranda, she really wanted to. She wanted some of Miranda's coolness to rub on her and she seemed nice too. I had my fingers crossed that somehow, despite our mutual shyness, a friendship between us would develop. You guys are probably wondering Wondering, well, then how did Debbie feel about Nathan? Because he was also her co-star. But it looks like Debbie actually liked Nathan because Nathan's a Christian and he believed in church and God. So Nathan got the pass, but Miranda wasn't allowed to get close to Jeanette. Eventually, Jeanette and Miranda had become friends, but it took some time. Their friendship actually began on AIM, which is an instant messaging service. Jeanette would lie to her mom saying that she was doing homework, but she was really talking to Miranda and laughing. She says, Miranda and I spent hours talking every day on it. Sometimes if my mom walked past and asked me what I was doing, she would tell her I was talking to Miranda. But most of the time, I would shrink the AIM text bubble and lie and say I'm doing schoolwork. She didn't question me. She would leave the room and I would pull it right back up. She says, even though in person Miranda seemed shy and quiet, she had a distinct and hilarious personality through her written words. So many of the things she said made me laugh. Her way of observing things, people, habits, human nature. I loved her and I was so excited we were becoming friends, which honestly, Miranda is really funny. Imagine if she had a talk show because I'm like always wondering what is going through her head. At some point, the show iCarly had to come to an end, even though it is back, but it, you know, it came to an end. And Jeanette was worried that her friendship with Miranda would go away, but they claimed that it got even stronger. And Miranda was super supportive of her when she spoke about her eating issues and her recovery. They did eventually drift apart, but they started speaking again when Miranda asked her if she wanted to be on the iCarly reboot, which I found that really interesting because you would think that like some executive would ask Jeanette, but it's like, did they send 
Miranda because they're friends and she tried to like sweet talk her. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's weird that like Miranda reached out opposed to like someone who works at Paramount Plus reaching out. I mean, like they probably know that Jeanette doesn't really like them. So go and send her friend to do your dirty work. So Jeanette speaks a lot about Miranda and her book and Miranda has responded to her because Jeanette was the type of person who I guess act okay in person. Like she acted fine. Everything was okay. She put on her facade to cope with everything happening in the background. So she seemed like a go happy lucky girl when she was really struggling. Do what I need to do and be this, you know, happy go lucky Nickelodeon kid. Oh. My name is Samantha Puckett. And I'm from Seattle and I love fried chicken. <laughs> but inside it was hurting. It was painful. I was angry. I felt unsupported. You pull back the curtain on child stardom. It is not a pretty picture. Not as I see it. So Miranda was asked about Jeanette's recent book and she says, when you're young, you're so in your head. You can't imagine that people around you are having much harder struggles. So um, Miranda claims that she really had no idea that Jeanette was going through so much as a kid. Jeanette was actually asked about this quote from Miranda and here's what she had to say. You say you're hiding your nerves well. It reminds me of something that Miranda Cosgrove said. She said, you don't expect things like this from the person in the room who's making everyone laugh. So what's your advice to people who may seem calm on the outside, may seem funny on the outside, but are struggling inside? You have to make contact with that struggle, I think. I really believe you have to face the parts of yourself. For me, facing the parts of myself that I felt the most shame about, facing those and becoming public with those has been really healing for me and transformative. And so I hope I hope that people consider that for themselves. Another network did ask Jeanette how she feels about Miranda now, and it seems like they're on good terms. Here's what she had to say. Loved reading about your friendship with Miranda Cosgrove. What impact has her friendship had on your life? What does she mean to you? Oh my God, I love Miranda to pieces. I always will. She has such a special place in my heart. She helped me grow as a person and heal as a person, and I hope I did the same for her and I just love her so much. So it seems like they're on good terms and I'm sure it helps that Jeanette's mother is dead because now she doesn't have to interfere in Jeanette's life and keep her back from unholy Miranda. But since Jeanette has come out with her book, so many people have shown their support like Miranda, Bella Thorne, so many different stars, child stars, all are praising Jeanette on social media for coming out with this book and speaking out, which is hard to do. I don't know if Miranda has necessarily read the book. I mean, you would think she has because because she has given a quote, but here's what Jeanette had to say. So I heard from her, she said she was so excited to read it and sent just a very supportive, lovely text about, okay. about reading the book. I can't wait for her to read it. I think she'll really like it. I yeah. think she'll laugh a lot. Okay. I think she'll relate to a lot. I'm sure she will. <laughs> I really hope that they are friends and this book doesn't really end their friendship. I mean, I don't think it would because Jeanette didn't really say anything bad, but she did share how Deborah held her back. And I think a lot of this goes back to her mother and that creator, Dan Schneider, who she speaks about. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to see Miranda and Jeanette like friends for life, like in each other's wedding vibes. But like, you know what? That's just the iCarly fan in me. So comment below and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.